Hey, Justin, you got your work up. Um, where the heck are you? Here you are right here. Awesome. All right. So I've got your um, trade show rendition as well as your, your uh, collateral, informational collateral and your water bottle giveaway. Now a few comments. Okay. First and foremost is I don't think this looks like it's designed with this. These look like two, they're two they're completely separate projects. So I'm a little curious about your visual um, approach. Now, in terms of the, the trade show booth itself, there's a, there are a few things here I really want you to think about. Okay, so your materials list is great. I, I, th I really think it would be, it would be really smart for you to expound on these materials in your, in your um, material list. Um, as you know by now, the term eco-friendly countertops or the term eco-friendly just doesn't mean anything to us at all. You really have to give us a, a materials list. Now that means telling us what exactly is in the, the these eco-friendly counters perhaps that you speak of. Okay. Now bamboo structural lumber, that's good. Can you give us some statistics on bamboo? Why you consider it to be sustainable? Why is it the best choice for the, the this project? Okay, you can't just say I'm using bamboo. You have to prove it. And that's the main thing about this project. And that's where the successful projects do a good job of showing and proving sustainability instead of just talking about it. So, for example, let's just take a look at you're using a lot of hemp, right? And that's great. But you can say instead of saying materials was hemp fiber board. Okay, so hemp poster board. That's it. So can you just say I'm using hemp poster board because hemp is the most sustainable choice for this project for the following reasons. Then give statistics. I went over here and I went on this, it's called Hempathetics. And it's, there's a thousand sites out here like this and they're all have to do exactly with, with sustainability and its relationship to the use of hemp. So this is chock full of of all sorts, all the paper we make, if trees could be better made using cannabis hemp, we would make more paper per acre. Each cannabis plant grown saves 12 trees. Cannabis hemp uses one seventh the chemicals in paper manufacture. Right now we cut down to a 500 million cubic meters of forest every year. That's huge. I mean, that's a huge statistic that you could stick right in here. I'm using hemp because, okay. And same thing with all of your materials on your list. Don't just tell us what you're using. Tell us why you're using it. Okay, uh, as far as sustainability of the booth itself, I think there's a lot of things in this structure that we can do without. Um, so I think one of the main things is this, this big light, overhead light. It just, it seems like it, it's overkill. And, and, and I'm thinking in terms of sustainability and using less resources, I think this would be a major one to cut out. The other thing I'm wondering about is an organic sod um, floor. Uh, boy, is that going to be feasible? I mean, that thing's going to get trampled. Um, you know, you're going to have several hundred people in and out of your trade show booth. That's going to be trampled into just dirt, but after the first, you know, couple hours. So I would really, really, I, I would, I would reconsider using sod for the floor. Okay. Um, the, I noticed that your uh, brochure doesn't have the materials that you're using on it. Presumably you're going to stick with hemp paper and soy inks. But don't forget to describe and tell them why and give us statistics, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Um, now, this piece, I just want you to think about this. What's preventing me? I'm a trade show goer, right? I got a handful of stuff. and I'm semi-responsible, but not all the way. I go to the trade show. You hand me this flyer. I'm like, uh, God, I can't carry this thing around. There's nothing really on here for me. I mean, there's no giveaways. There's nothing inducing me to hold on to it. So I'm just going to toss it in the garbage. Okay, and as we know, tossing it in the garbage is not recycling, which means it's not a responsible way of getting rid of it, which means it does not loan itself well to sustainability. That's a problem. Can you give this some sort of functionality that will induce the, the, view, the, the, the recipient to hang on to it and not throw it away? Stainless steel is a problem. Um, you know, this thing ends up in a, in a landfill. It's going to be there forever, uh, melting and leaching. Um, I'm not melting, rusting and leaching into the, the earth. So that's a problem. Um, also, you never gave the, uh, what, I don't know what bioplastic means. So that you really got to really let's pump up this materials list. Okay, great written rationale there. But that's what I have. It's all about materials at this point. Okay, good job. If you have any questions, give me a holler. Thank you.